What, what, what? Oh, shucks. Jeez and golly, buddy, what? Seriously, Fish City, Fish Fish City, yo, so. Wow. Guest, co-host, new co-host. We have two co-hosts here on Fish City. It is Bin Bob, old Bin Bob, and then we got Dr. Living Good. What's up, Living Good? LG, ready for Fish City, about to catch a 10 pound flounder. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna stop by Minsky's and get the uh, the current fishing report for here in the Rochester area. We're gonna, I was intending to go out to Quarry Hill, but we may go out to one of our retention ponds. Uh, we're gonna stay real local. Uh, we're gonna find out what's going on out here at Silver Lake. I don't know if anybody in the area has noticed. It's drained, it's dead empty. Um, I don't see any fish up on the banks and they're all in a puddle. So we're gonna stop there, find out about that so we can inform Jeff. And then, oh, guess what? Tomorrow morning, seven in the morning to seven in the evening, two hour blocks, no more than three kids at a time. Hopefully we got it posted on the webpage, fishcity.mn we are going to have the kids program fish kids and uh minsky's uh is my sponsor with gear and uh bait and stuff like that so he's gonna run me a line of credit uh actually he's donating this uh scoop of minnows we're gonna get i'll probably get half crappie and and half fathead so we can mix it up that should get me through the day uh i'll have five sack lunches uh tomorrow i'll have at least water for refreshments i'll try to get some soda pop for the for the youngins uh, it is totally free till the end of May. So we're gonna go to Minsky's right now. You guys are gonna get to see the bait shop. Uh, he got some new spinner baits in and they are the bee's knees. You gotta go get them. Super, super low, low prices. Like $2.25, you can't beat that anywhere. And I'll tell you what, it's the best, single best fishing bass lure I've ever used. Go get them, Minsky's Bait and Tackle. See Jeff, tell him I sent you. Fish City, fish your cities. All right, y'all, we're here at Silver Lake. And as y'all can see, I've never seen this water so low. It is completely empty on down the way. Oh, goose, 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 gooses. Yeah, there's gooses, always gooses. Poor girls, there's gonna be a bunch of heartbroken geeses. This summer, they're gonna spray oil on all the eggs to try and limit their becoming a nuisance and a pest. So this, you'll never see this. I've never seen this. And I've fished around here forever. Um, sometimes maybe it happens but I haven't actually ever been seen, seen it, been privy to it. We're gonna walk up and around it and we're gonna find out from these workers what's going on here, hopefully. Phil Jeff in at Minsky's Bait and Tackle. You can go up there and check him out too. Tell your friends to go check him out. And uh, he'll have a fishing report for us and uh, he'll be able to tell everybody what's going on down here. Hopefully, hopefully they'll speak with us. I, I don't see why they wouldn't. What do you think, living good? I think we're about to catch a big one. You don't think we're going to find out what's going on with the pond? Yeah, we're going to find out the bite. Who do you, who do you, who do you think you are? Something so special about that place. Your emotions have an echo in so much. Hey fellas, sorry to come so close. We're just gonna pass by, but uh, do you mind if we ask what you guys are working on? Oh, uh, probably get three down. We just had a couple of farms to route. Okay, I do a YouTube fishing channel, and uh, it's a, I do affordable guide service. It's a local urban fishing guide for people that really don't fish. Uh, so yeah, we're all just getting Minsky was real. Minsky's bait and tackle is really interested in you guys. What you guys got going on? So we're fixing Broadway then? Yeah, fixing Broadway. We'll lift the water up here next week, so it'll come back up. Oh, okay. Yeah, I noticed it went down pretty fast starting yeah, three okay. days ago. Well, it takes a day to load, so. Okay. Yeah. All right, you have a great day. Do you want to see? You're a, you're an athletic man. You can do this. There's actually steps that actually kind of work. You see this little. So you see this little right here yeah. where that concrete is? So if you just go like this, here, I'll hand you my rod. I always just kind of drop it down there like that. But you can back up to it and step down on that. Oh, and then step down here, just like that. All right, like I said, we're just gonna cover water, cast it out and reel it in. Maybe kind of let it sink down a little bit. So from what I gather from ice fishing around here, it's close to 20 foot deep. Here and right now it's probably got 10 foot. All the fish are in here. Everything's been funneled down to this, this way when they dropped all the water. So we ought to have something happen. Be careful, you will get snagged. So 
maybe at first just don't even let it sink just start reeling you got to keep up up with it when you make your casts we i want to have you to wear so this is uh, how you professionally fish spinners spinner baits bass fishing so you see how my line's tight and i caught it and it's already moving yeah all right now here's another another key all right you see how i got it going yeah. at, at the surface just fast enough to where it's making that ripple what it does is it upsets the fish when that's happening and they'll really hit it but that's kind of a pro level it's difficult to do all you got to do right now is just keep it moving you don't have to keep it all the way up at the surface but you do got to make sure you don't get on the bottom because there's probably all kinds of stuff down there everything floats down this way yeah that's perfect you might even want to go a lot slower than that to where it's under the surface about a foot because it's cold Let's go see our uh, local bait shop, our local bait shop, Minsky's Bait and Tackle and sponsor. I'm smoking a heater here. I'm not gonna let you guys ever see me smoke a cigarette on camera. So you got a little bit of smoke come out of my mouth. That's all you ever gonna get. So let's go see Jeff. We got Jay living good in the house. There is a butt can out in front of Minsky's Bait and Tackle. I'd appreciate it if you guys use it. I do. Cool kids seem to. Here we are. It's like we hit a little traffic jam. Huh? Oh yeah, I gotta. Would you grab the pail for us, Jay? Appreciate it. Here, we'll just take a little gander around bait shop. While he deals with other customers. He's a Local company here in Chatfield, Minnesota. Uh, you, you have a gold we have okay. light vest for you. Okay. I didn't. I couldn't remember if you did before or not. Do you have some? Lots uh, of jigs. Sixes. Black. Um, Lindy rigs and such. Maybe like four or something like that. I know. I'm pretty sure I have. And if you got the, you want know the six rigs. These are. Uh, made here at Minsky's Big Tackle. The rods. No, uh, the ring. Yeah. And if you got, uh, he is our local yeah. sponsor. Got him on a St. Croix stand. They are really great rods. Ben Bob got one from here, custom made. Working on the airplane this week. They're tall rods too. One of the local guides. The walleye guide service. He specializes in walleye. They just did a giveaway not so long ago. We missed out on. He, uh, he endorses these rods. Well, these are actually Lime, Lime Creek. We've had some other people on the show that tell us about this gentleman. So I fish with some guys who fish with them and know them and use their rods, use his rods. And we got all that Lime Creek stuff here. That means you're going to take all that off, just the back part off, so you can get the, the real seat yeah, off. The I still got some fan fish drop stuff. From ice season. There's another, these are handmade. There's the top. Some big. Wow. Must be big. Spinner bags. Right? Yeah. Spoons. Lots of good stuff here. There's Jeff, he's hard at work. We'll talk to him in a minute. We'll Okay. Lots of plastics. Now I'll and, tell you, uh, with the spinner baits, these are what you want. You got to get these pro tour baits. I think he might be a local guy. These are the good ones, the size too. This is the um, number five slim shad, so I'd recommend that one. Uh, the 3.5 is also really good in in that these colors. Um, this uh, so that color is the real shad. Both of those were. Then you got the watermelon. Red Ghost, that's a good one in the 3.5. The green, the watermelon red. Red Ghost is the, no, it's the same one. Yeah, those two are good ones. Lots of good stuff here. Beetle spin. These are what you want, man. And I tell you, if you come here to Minsky's, you may have s blades that are bigger than this. I recommend it. We got custom. I make mine custom. Uh, we'll show you later. But I, I got a couple blades from Jeff this morning 
We're gonna put those on some beetle spins and see how they work. All different kinds of lures. Still waiting on my five pound bass. I don't know, this one looks like it ain't quite five, maybe three. So this is a full line of We'll probably do a whole video just on checking out Jeff's. Oh yeah, by the way, he had really great deals on these during the winter time. They were hard to find. Most places didn't carry them because you gotta have a special license. You got shades. This Nebo is cool. It's good stuff. You guys, he's got one left for $21. Then Bob got me mine as a gift, and I love it. I use it all the time. Oh yeah, here's some root revelers again. I'll show you that guy. Where you show them. These are the baits to get for pike and for big bass. All kinds of like, oh these are a good deal too. Those really work for your live baits, especially when you're, you're fishing with minnows. I'm definitely gonna get some of those. Here's some more. These little containers are super neat. These are really good for panfish. Really, really, really good. All the stuff. I found it. Lots of handmade custom custom lures that you're gonna want to know. These real good at Foster Aaron. These kind of you know feather type style. Those are really good. Really good prices. You can't beat that. Oh, you need a real Val, I'm thinking. These are good for the kids. If you're gonna come out to fish kids, it'd be nice if you guys got one of these. And I'm sure your daughters would love this Shakespeare. It's a uh, Disney's Moana video movie. I'm not sure. Cool ride. Right? And a lot of the guys like using this power bait. Oh. Foster Aaron Pond. It's real good stuff. Even catfish bait. Lots of line selection. Also, Minsky's does spool your line on your reels. If you bring them in, if you buy a rod and reel. Or if you bring your own. More jigs. He's got new leaders for you. Some more ruby panfish stuff here. All the hooks. Assortment hooks that you need, all the different sizes. He's even got bass hooks here. So that's good. Yeah. So look at, let's just look at these. Well, I got some rods. These are pretty huge. Well, hold 65 pounds of line. 65 yards of line. Okay. So he uses four pounds. Boss Lake Zumbro right here. This holds 85 yards. It's not. Oh, but it's more than you'll ever need. These are real good because for trout. When we fill it, and so if that you look at the same one here, four pounds here is 140 yards. We never use the line of Why is this a place? Because it's just filler. Nets. You throw it away. And foster and bond. That's one way the fish get thrown in there. And my favorite place, best bait. best bait in town, really. I'm telling you, I went to major distributors here in town. It's the best live bait you can find around. It's where you want to go for your live bait. Also, don't forget, I'm going to take liberty here with Jeff and uh, show you his worms. What's he got for you right now? Oh, man, he's super stocked up. Look at all that. His worms are always fresh and clean, too. No deados in there, no rotten worms. Not like you do when you go to... Well, I'm not going to use any major companies' names. All right, and Jay living good, and we're going to work with Minsky here and get a fishing report, if he's got time. So here's a bunch of these custom rod blanks that he's got. And then right here, he can spool your stuff up by hand. So you can bring your reel in and have it re-spooled. You can have the line removed and spooled. It's cool stuff gonna show you like the money what you want right here I've been talking about it the shallow runner 
SSR5 Rapala in the shad wrap color. Okay, guys, so I'm gonna I'm gonna take this from you, Jay, for just a second. I've seen so, it work many times for many fish. All right, and you guys have seen it on the show work. This SR5, and the shad wrap is the color. The SSR5 is the rating for a shallow runner Rapala X wrap. These are actually X wraps. They don't say X wrap anymore, so I've been confusing you guys. So now you know. Thanks, Jay. Living good. Yep. Tell us a little bit about what's happening with the bite while he gets us these minnows real fast because we're all in a time crunch. Yeah. So how's the bite? Yeah. What, what's biting around town? You know, you know, actually I've heard that creek chumps are going crazy. Okay. Right now. People are starting to fish rough fish. Rough, yeah. Yeah. They're all kind of waiting for the water to warm up for the crappie bite right now. It's at 51 degrees at the surface. Oh. And five and a half feet down is at about 46. Okay. So it's too cold. Okay. We and needed to get warmer. Jay Livingood wanted to get uh, $5 worth of sucker minnows if you had them. Okay. Who does? Um, he's a, now my new co-host, uh, James Livingood. I call him Dr. Livingood. It sounds good, yeah, doesn't good. it? It sounds catchy, right? I think it sounds catchy. <laughs> yeah. I like it. Yeah, Dr. Living there he is. Yeah. So he's pulling up how to get to Quarry Hill because I lost my phone at Foster Aaron Pond doing the Fish Kids program last Wednesday. So I went home. And uh, so I've been learning to get around Rochester without using MapQuest. <laughs> and I'm getting better at it. I'm getting better at it. Back to old school now. <laughs> yeah, and I have to do that because I can... Street signs. Well, I have to... Yeah, yeah. And, you know, the one thing that's going to be really good is um, Silver Creek Reservoir has been closed. The whole month of April. Oh. It opens up May 1st. Now we know. And the property should be hanging out. Exactly. Nice. Where's that at? It's east of town. Okay. Thank you. It's closed November and April. All right, folks, we're going to get out of Quarry Hill real fast, let Jeff do business, and we're going to go do our business, which is affordable guide service with Fish City. Thank you. Ciao.